Hi Cancer and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Cancer sign. And we can take a look at the cards and get a sense of the energies and messages for you for the month to help you navigate and to help you just have a sense of what is going on. So let's see what the cards want to tell us. Okay, so the first two cards that I'm choosing is the awareness for the week. And so we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is a card where this uh, woman is in her garden or in her backyard. And the walled garden is full of fruit and pentacles. She uh, has a bird resting on her hand. And there's a sense here that uh, she's done well for herself, that she has abundance at home, that she has comfort at home. And, and with the Nine of Pentacles, there's a sense here that you are independent and that you are able to make good decisions, sacrifice when you need to sacrifice, work hard when you need to do so, and that you've been able to create something uh, that pleases you in your life. So what's interesting and important, what I think, is, is the bird on her hand because it goes with, with this idea that, you know, you work and you sacrifice, you make good decisions, you build security and a firm foundation, but don't neglect having fun, lightening it up, uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor. So for you this week being the independent person that you are and getting things done and making things happen and building your nest. Don't forget to have fun and enjoy your hobbies. So then another big idea for the week is the sun and the sun is simply a glorious card. The sun radiates, radiates for us. It's our life force. It energizes us. We feel inspired. We feel free just like that child on the, on the pony and the banner is having a blast. And so in the sun, we have a lot of fun and there's a lot of abundance as well and happiness, happiness in your relationships, happiness uh, in your job. The sunflowers also suggest abundance. So we're looking at we're looking at abundance for you this week. We're looking for happiness. We're looking for enjoying the fruits of your labor. So we're going to choose, or I'm going to choose, two cards for guidance for you. Okay, so in terms of guidance, we have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups, the Cups brings uh, your emotions into play. This is the element of, of water, water signs. And this is the opportunity and the potential of a relationship that is really deep. It is two significant parts coming together and unifying as a whole. And you can see the cups are equal. They're almost eye to eye. There's a sense of equality within this relationship. There's a sense of balance and uh, the potential here for happiness. And so this tells me to, to focus on relationships, that if I'm in a relationship, that I'm going to be paying attention to it, that maybe this week is a week of going out or doing something special for someone that I'm involved with. If I'm single, then perhaps, you know, I've got a couple dates lined up and, the, and possibilities. And it's simply a, a fabulous card because it's that the offer of this enriching emotional connection to someone else. And this union brings happiness. It brings fulfillment. 
So this could also relate to dear friends who also have that deep, strong bond. So in terms of guidance, here's the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The King of Pentacles is sitting here with his abundance, all of the fruit, and his pentacle. And he is in charge. He rules fairly. He rules... Um, thinking about others perhaps in a loving way. And this king is grounded, he's practical, he's reasonable. Very good with finances, good with investments, good with businesses, able to handle uh, many aspects. And also appreciates the finer things in life and the, the comfort in life, as does the Nine of Pentacles. So there's a sense of, um, I want to say richness, but I mean abundance and I mean comfort. Things that make you feel good where you live or how you dress or whatever it may be. The things that you do that make you feel that you're living an abundant life. And so looking at the sun here next to the Two of Cups, this bodes well for relationships. Whether you are looking for a relationship or you're in a relationship, it's strengthening it. Maybe it leads to marriage. If you're married, uh, it's deepening the bond. And marriage is over time, you really get to know someone. You really do have that intimate and strong connection. So awareness and guidance. And now let's choose two cards for possible outcomes for the week. This King of Pentacles could, is telling you to be practical, to be mindful of your finances, perhaps your resources, your energies, um, helping others, perhaps other organizations. Okay, so possible outcomes. We have the Hermit, and the Hermit is is taking time away from the chaos. It's stepping back, it's reflecting. It's digging for your own truth. Soul searching, soul seeking. You know, you're kind of asking yourself what's going on. And so if we're looking at this card with respect to the other cards, Uh, you may just have some time that you need to think about people that you're involved with, some of your investments or your activities, and enjoying the fruits of your labor. Something here is drawing you in to, to think about what's going on right now and perhaps what's in the past. Then we have the, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of gentleness and kindness and compassion. And you can see the children, the, the older child is handing the younger child a cup full of flowers. And this is a sense of the childlike wonder of children. They just uh, treat each other sweetly. There's a sweetness to this card. This also a car, is a card of thinking of Old, and old times, nostalgia, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel happy. The thing to be aware of, though, is, you know, when we look back fondly on a period of our life, a job, a lover, a uh, career that we had, or location that we lived, so um, it's good to take comfort and to think fondly of those memories, but to get stuck in that place doesn't help you move forward, doesn't help you establish or enhance current or future relationships. This could also suggest that maybe this week you're going to be reconnecting with someone that you haven't touched base with in a while, that maybe you guys go out for a drink, maybe you're hanging out, maybe it's uh, if you're single, you've met, you know, you've kind of reconnected with someone that you knew and you're going out and you're, you're spending some time together. 
But the Hermit is an interesting card for this week with what we see. Uh, it's kind of like this little, you know, you may be busy, you may be having fun, you're working, you're, you're making it all happen, but don't forget to continue to work on yourself. So let's get more information from Osho Zen and we will see what the cards can tell us. Okay, that one just came right out. And this card is success. And, you know, we see success with the King of Pentacles. We see success with the Sun and the Nine of Pentacles. So uh, this person here looks joyful and they're riding the tiger. And the ticker tape parade, it's to be celebrated. It's to be uh, recognized for your efforts. To appreciate the hard work that's gone into becoming a success or to being successful this week, that you've achieved something. So take note of it yourself and be proud of that. Others may notice as well. I'd also like to choose a uh, spirit card to highlight emotional or spiritual self. vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Honestly, to be vulnerable and to show vulnerability is a sign of, of strength. It's a sign of compassion. It's a sign of being open and uh, it's allowing everything to come in to your life. And so when, when do we fee feel vulnerable? We feel vulnerable when we meet people that we hope to have a relationship with and we're not sure because maybe we've been hurt in the past and we were afraid of getting hurt. And so you have to be willing to be vulnerable to find intimate and satisfying and connected relationships. So let's get another card here. This is the Whispers of Love Oracle. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. Looks like perhaps someone is riding the unicorn. I'm not certain. Um, very detailed, interesting illustrations with this oracle deck. But recognizing the truth. And it's your truth and it's a belief. It's a belief system. And that belief system is that you can do what you set your mind to do and that you will be a success when you're able to visualize, when you're able to understand that you have a lot of power and you have a lot of uh, opportunities here for success. You know, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Sun, we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, understanding yourself and understanding that the only limits that are placed on us are the ones that we place on ourselves. When we allow other people to take our power. So Cancer, I hope that you found something helpful here for your reading this week. And uh, if you did, please subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment. And um, I wish you the very best this week. And I hope that you will check out some of my other readings and then come back again. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.